Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2019, slot 2 DILR is a number puzzle. In this, we are given a figure in which there are three pouches which are represented by filled circle are kept in each of the nine slots in a three cross three grid. So we have a total of 27 pouches and each pouch has a certain number of one rupee coins. So there is, there are coins in these pouches. And then we are given that the minimum and maximum amounts of money among the three pouches in each of the nine slots are given in the table. So minimum and maximum. So for example, column one, row one, it is two comma four. So that means minimum is two, maximum is four, right? The third value can be anything. It can be two, it can be three, or it can be four. Similarly, let's say if it is two and five. So this is two, this is five. It can be 2, it can be 3, it can be 4, it can be 5, okay. So, like this we are given some information and apart from that, it is also given, like they have given an example also that uh, among the three pouches kept in the second column of the first row, uh, the minimum amount is 6 and the maximum is 8. So, middle value we need to find out. It could be the least value, it could be the highest value, it could be some value in between also. Now there are nine pouches in any of the three columns and any of the three rows. It is known that the average amount of money in nine pouches in any column or any row is an integer. So average is an integer. So that means the total should be a multiple of nine. And that is the hint which is given to us. It is also known that the total amount of money kept in the three pouches in the first column of the third row is rupees 4. So first column, third row, the total is 4. That is given to us. So we will make a column, uh, a table of rows and columns and try to fill in the values. Now the total is given to us as 4. So how can we get a total 4? That is 1, 1 and 2. That is the only way. Lowest and highest is given. Now we will look at some information which is like we are given the lowest and highest. So let us put the lowest and highest. One number will come in between. So 3 and 5, a number will come in between. 6 and 8, one number shall come in between. This is 1 and 1. So obviously it is going to be 1, 1, 1 only. And this is 1 and 2, a number will come in between. Then 1 and 3 a number should come in between 6 and 20 and 2 and 5. So that is the information given to us. And now we need to find out the totals in each of these, right? Now, if you see this, the total are multiples of 9. So it will be some multiple of 9, 9a, 9b, 9c. And similarly, in uh, any column or any row. So this will also be a multiple of 9. This will be multiple of 9. This will be multiple of 9. So we do not need to put the variables just to make you understand that these have to be multiples of 9. So we will add them accordingly. Now let us start with something which gives us uh, the only information is this total is 4 and this total is obviously 3. Now we need to make numbers such that we get multiples of 9. Now what can come in this? So let us look at extreme possibilities. Extreme possibilities is this because row 3 one of the values is given. This is an extreme possibility. So the total will either be if you see 1, 1, 2. It can be 1, 1, 2 or it can be 1, 2, 2. So total can be 4 or 5. And let's look at some other information. If it is given that uh, any other value, this is distinct values. Nothing is given as such that uh, they have to be distinct values. Okay. So this is 4 or 5. Similarly, this can be 2, 5 and the values in between. Now, instead of finding the values, let us think of the sum that you can get. Okay. Instead of get, thinking the values. So minimum is 7. And maximum you can get is, like if it is 2, 5, 2, you can get the minimum sum as, sorry, 9. And maximum you can get is 2, 5, 5, that is 12, right? So you can get sum from 9 to 12. 
right now if you have sum as let us look at the minimum sum possible so if you look at the minimum sum that is 4 plus 4 plus 9 that is equal to 17 and if you look at the maximum possible sum maximum possible sum is 4 plus 5 plus 12 that is 21 so the multiple of 9 in between is 18 so let us find out the sums first and then figure out the values so the sum here could be 18 so like this we will find out the minimum and maximum in each of these and then find the possible sum so here the sum is 18 how it is 18 it can be 4 4 10 or it can be 4 5 9 also so leave it for now let us try to find the minimum and maximum sums and then we shall proceed so this is 6 and 8 14 if you pick 6 20 22 22 right now if we add this this is 23 27 so maximum can be 25 plus 5 30 so 27 to 30 that is the range now the only number that fits is 27 okay so 27 will happen when this is 20 this is 3 and this is 4 so we are sure shot of the numbers this total is 4 this total is 20 so it will be 6 6 8 okay 27 done now this is 18 this has to be 4 plus 4 8 plus 10 10 means 2 plus 5 is 7 plus 3 now similarly we will find out for other columns and rows also so if you take this row minimum is 8 2 plus 4 plus 2 and maximum is 10 2 4 4 like if you take 2 2 4 minimum 2 4 4 that is the maximum now this is 8 8 plus 3 11 11 to 13 that is the range now when you add this column what do we get 19 plus 4 23 and maximum we can get is 10 13 and 4 which is 27 so 27 is the only possible number multiple of 9 so we will have the sum as 27 if we have the sum 27 that means this should be 13 and this should be 10 so how do we get 13 3 5 5 and 10 is 2 4 4 okay now 10 plus 20 total is 30 we need to add something so we can make it 36 36 means this total is 6 so 1 2 3 okay now we have we need to make sure that these two sums should be multiples of 9 now this is 16 right and this is 26 uh, plus 6 like uh, like in row 2 the minimum is 32 6 6 20 and max is 6 20 20 that is 46 okay 32 to 46 can come in this place so we have minimum sum is 16 plus 32 48 and maximum we can go is 46 plus 16 that is 62 so the only number that comes a multiple of 9 in between is 54 so this is 54 now the total is 54 and this is 16 so the total should be 38 now 38 means 6 plus 20 is 26 this will be 12 that makes it 38 now let us check this also 44 plus 10 54 so this gives us the complete list of values and this is how we get the third value in each row and column a similar set was also asked in cat 2023 now the first question is what is the total amount in the three pouches kept in the first column of the second row second row first column the total amount is 13 rupees how many pouches contain exactly one coin so we need to count the number of pouches that have one coin in them so we have one then we have two three four five six seven eight so there are a total of eight such pouches what is the number of slots for which the average amount of its three pouches is an integer okay so slots slots is meaning of one row and column so we will have to take the totals and see if they are multiples of three so this is 20 this is six so well, this is 13 3 we have 38 then we have 4 4 
and this is 10. Now we have only such two such slots, this slot and this slot where the average is an integer. So two such slots. Final question, the number of slots for which the total amount in its three pouches strictly exceeds rupees 10. Strictly exceeds means it should be greater than 10. It should not be. See, if it says greater than or equal to 10, you take this case. When it says strictly exceeds, we need to take greater than 10. So total amount greater than 10 in how many pouches? So we will not count this 10. Here we have uh, C2, one of the pouches, second pouch and third pouch. We will not count these two. So we have a total of three such pouches. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.